Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit about the four channel dimmer pack. Um, what we have here, we have the switch on and off, we have the four fuses for each channel, we have our DMX input and output, and we have our four output channel where each channel has double outputs. It's the same channel, only you have the ability to connect two lights at the same channel. You have your channel indicators and you have your LED display. Okay, we're going to turn the dimmer pack on. At that point, usually the dimmer pack will default most of the time to A001. Um, it will even default into receiving, there is an LED indicator over here, saying that it's ready to receive DMX. If we had a DMX coming in, you would have your DMX signal blinking over here. Right now, once we are in the DMX mode, okay, I'm able to set any channel I want by going with the arrow up and down to any channel I want. And it's looping, so actually I'm able to go down and go to channel 512, that is the maximum channel assignment. Um, if I would set it to A001, basically my channels will be 1, 2, 3, 4. If I would set it to channel 2, it's going to be 2, 3, 4, 5. If I would set it to channel 3, it's going to be 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's how it breaks down into three channel, four channels. Um, once I'm in a DMX mode, the most common problem that people have is that they turn their DMX and all the channel comes on at the same time. That is fixed by very simple correction. If you click on menu, and in the menu it says CH01. If you are in CH01, meaning that this dimmer pack is set as a single channel, all these dimmer packs will come, all these channels will come on at the same time. What you need to do is, you need to go to CH04. As you saw, when I went through, there was CH02. CH02 means that this dimmer pack is broken down into two channels. This is going to be one channel, and this is going to be the second channel. When I go to CH04, the dimmer pack is broken into four separate channels. So right now it's set as a four channel. You click your menu again, and you're back at your DMX mode. This dimmer pack is even able to work as a standalone, not music mode, but a standalone. It has built-in programs. And you have here an indication a little bit of how the setting goes. So if I click on my mode, I went into my program mode. P is program mode. I have 16 built-in programs. As you can see here, 16 built-in programs from, zero, zero, from zero 01 to 16. Each one of those programs indicates in the channel indicator what kind of chess it is. So if I go up to 2, as you can see, it shows you a different chess. I'll go to 3, it shows you a different chess. 4, 5, 6, and so on. Once I'm in a particular program, I'm able to control the speed and the intensity. Chess speed and dimming. And that is done by clicking the menu, my once I'm in the program mode, I click menu, and my SP function came up. SP is for speed. At that point, I can go down or up with my speed, and you can see how my speed is changing. I go up, and my speed is going up. Um, and when I'm in 1, is the lowest speed. If I'm 99, is the highest speed. If I click menu again, basically it came to the dimming mode, that is D. D001 and D100. So that means 100 is the maximum value, 0 is the lowest value. So if I go up, or I go down actually, my intensity will be reduced. And again, right now we don't have a light, but my intensity will be reduced according to the value and until I hit 000, that will be completely off. As you can see, it shows a little bit on the indicator, but actually you can see it much better usually when you have a light. As you can see right now, with 000, it's completely off. And it's a, if I go again up or down, because it's a loop, it's going to go to maximum. If I go down, it goes to zero. So that shows you the indication. So if I go up slowly, you could see how the 
blinking are going up. And again, to get out of that, you just click mode, you're back at your DMX mode. Uh, 